Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and I'm joined by... Uh, my name is Steve Gu. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of iFi, a computer vision startup company focusing on the, the enabling technologies for AR and the consumer facing applications. So you have a pretty amazing uh, application that is going to, I think, iOS devices only, right? Uh, right now? now it's iOS only, but uh, very soon I'll go to make it also Android versions available as well. IPad. iPhones and iPads. iPhones and iPads. Yes. And what it does essentially, without any green screen yes. or blue screen uh -huh. or anything in the background, <laughs> your smart device is able to distinguish you mm -hmm. from the background. So yes. suddenly, out of nowhere, you can be placed literally anywhere. It's literally a green screen. Mm -hmm. And you can have sort of interactions and animations overlaid on top of you, right? So yes. What, what is this app? Uh, yeah, the app is called Wonderlands. Uh, um, it's, it's magical. So what it does, basically, just we develop very sophisticated algorithms behind the scene that recognize you as a person and, uh, and then remove the background automatically for you. So no green screen drop, no blue screen, no fancy equipment, no sensors, nothing. It's all empowered by the sophisticated AI solutions we have developing internally. We saw several different things. We saw the fact that it's able to distinguish your arms, your elbows, your head. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, able to, with depth. Yes, depth, uh, depth estimation as well. Depth estimation yeah. and, and a, a surface reconstruction. So we can understand the fine grain, the 3D surface of human bodies. And uh, as you see that uh, you can see very fine grain, the structures of my hand, my face, my, my shoulders, and everything else. <laughs> and, and just, I guess textures would be like for surfaces and clothes and mm -hmm. it's able to, I mean that's incredible for that to be able to go onto a smart device. Exactly and it's running in real time on iPhones and iPads and uh, and I think it's incredible and uh, we're very excited about uh, this announcement. <laughs> and there, there doesn't seem to be any latency really that I can see of like maybe, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit, tiny yeah. little bit mm -hmm. but it's it's you know almost It's real almost time. real time yeah. Uh, but you guys are also releasing a new application soon as well right? Yes yes so another Another application is called a hologram messenger, and that one basically just asks users to take a photo or video of you and turn you into a hologram, and then you can project you out onto any flat surface. Uh, by working with Apple's AR kit, we can empower everyone to make holograms easily. It can be you or your family or your friends, and we basically turn your selfie or any photos or videos into holograms. How do you see this going forward? So moving forward, these apps, Wonderlands and the Hollow Messenger, they, are, they, are, they will be free. We are just release them to the public. We also developed this SDK that um, basically allow third-party developers to also convert the uh, images and videos to holograms, to segmentation, the surface, and so on and so forth. So we're going to, we plan to release that uh, as free toolkit for, for developers as well. Right now, we're also working, based on the same technology, we're also working with some great partners in the US, uh, especially in the retail space, to apply these technologies for the smart retail space. So have you heard of Amazon Go, right? So basically people walk in, grab stuff and walk out. Uh, we believe we have the best technology for this uh, area and we are doing this equivalent of Amazon Go in a much bigger scale. Well, our technologies enable us to track people, understand their emotions, activities, recognize product items, and then when they walk out, we basically understand every single aspect of what's going on there. <laughs> Wow, uh, so whereabouts will, will that be? Like, will, where, where will these retail stores have this technology? Uh, it's already happening. Uh, we are going to have some major announcements to come in the next few months. What I can tell for now is but we are still developing that. We are going to have some pilot projects in some major retail stores. and. Uh, you will be able to see that by the end of this year. Is that in the US or is it in China? It's in the US. It's yeah. in the US. Oh, wow, amazing. So that means that essentially you'd be just going into a retail store, mm -hmm. you see something that you like, yes. you grab it, and then that's it. They and know who you are, they know everything, right? Yeah, and no sense, no tax, nothing, just, just computer vision, understanding everything. That is, I, I, I guess, I suppose there would be cameras everywhere then, right? Yeah, it would be cameras uh, in the store. With this technology, mm -hmm. you'd be able to release a software where you'd be able to uh, create a digital avatar of yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, I'm not sure if you'd make it, but you'd be able to make it into a 3D proper mm -hmm. object in the sense that rather than a, a 2D on a hologram, it's uh -huh. your real 3D like it recognizes my leg and how thick it is. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's a very cool application. We actually have the plan to do that. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily, we, we also build the application on we can work with partners to build this uh, digital avatar from the images and the videos, right? And I think that's going to happen very soon. So um, the, the best way to build the future is to create it, is to create it right? So 
And, and that's why we're also looking for partners who can work with us. Uh, we can provide the SDK, the technologies and toolkit uh, to allow third party developers to also build apps of their own. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I honestly have no words because there's, there's, there's companies out there and they do volumetric capture and they mm -hmm. try to capture you, but if your smart device is able to just do it, uh -huh. right? And as, as smart devices get better, cameras get better, yes. their processing power gets better. Uh -huh. And, and that's, that's already happening. It's just happening. It's just happening right now. And yes, it's, it's, exactly. It's amazing. Uh, I really look forward to seeing how this could be used for the future. Mm -hmm. it, it opens the world to connecting socially with people, uh -huh. uh, to you know, storytelling, and yes. all of these different things. Yes, likewise, uh, as the company name suggests, the company name is called iFi, A-I-F-I, because we believe that the AI will be widely available as Wi-Fi is, and we are basically making that happen today. So whereabouts are you based? How many people are you? Uh, we are based in Santa Clara, in Silicon Valley, and we have about 25 people in our office. Yeah. We're still growing, though. Yeah. So is there a website that we can go to to find out more information? Uh, yes, right now it's a very, we're still a very stealthy mode company. As you see, we did this last minute registration for CS. We're kind of pushed to this uh, far corner. We call it cutting edge. We're in the cutting edge here. <laughs> um, yeah, if you go to our company uh, website, it's called ifi.io. There's very limited information there. But hopefully, in the next few months, we're going to put more announcements there very soon. Great, I'm really excited about that. Uh -huh. Head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about what they're doing. Uh, and I will see you there. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs>